Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking into the horrible case of an incel killer who took his vengeance out against innocent women, George Sardini. An incel or involuntary celibate is a person who is not in sexual activity but desires to be and is primarily part of an online subculture of misogynistic straight men who define themselves as wanting a sexual relationship but are unable to find one. George Sardini was born on the 30th of September 1960 in Scott Township and was a misogynist with incel style characteristics. Attending the University of Pittsburgh and living in Scott Township, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, which as of 2010 has a population of 17,024 individuals. Career-wise, Sardini was quite successful working for the international law firm K&L Gates as a systems analyst. However, socially he was an outcast and perceived rejection from the entirety of society, particularly women. In early 1991, he had a child with a woman named Lee Ann Valseri and had not seen his child since they were four months old. This was the last partner with whom he had sex. On a website registered in his name, he lamented that he had not had sex in 20 years since July 1990, lamenting, who knows why, I am not ugly or too weird. No sex since July either. I was 29. Last time I slept all night with a girlfriend, it was 1982. Girls and women don't even give me a second look anywhere. The 48 year old also lamented, women just don't like me. There are 30 million desirable women in the US, my estimate, and I cannot find one. He also began attending self-help seminars as seen in this video where he is of a bald individual with no jacket on next to the door. These seminars discussed how to date women and were coached by R. Don Steele. These seminars were 8 hours long and took place across 3 days. He was described as the most studious of all students at the seminars and was not seen as a malicious person. Sardini also began posting a series of videos on YouTube outlining his problems, lamenting his inability to find women, as well as providing a tour of his house. He purchased an empty Glock 9mm magazine and magazine loading apparatus from TG Scom Inc. with the aim of committing an attack on women and the society, which he perceived had rejected him. Sardini also planned a shooting in early 2009, but by his own online confession, chickened out. On the 28th of July 2009, he bought an inert grenade on a Port Authority bus, the second largest public transit agency in Pennsylvania and the 26th largest in the United States of America. A passenger sitting next to him was significantly concerned and alerted the police, who spoke with Sardini but ultimately released him, which would turn out to be a fatal mistake. On the 4th of August 2009 at 8.15pm, Sardini went to the LA Fitness Health Club, an American gym chain with more than 700 clubs across the United States of America and Canada in Collier Township, a suburb in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In his duffel bag, Sardini carried two 9-19mm Glock semi-automatic pistols and a .45 caliber revolver with a .32 caliber semi-automatic pistol in his pocket. He had done practice runs in the gym including entering a woman's acrobatic classroom and had been shown by unsuspecting staff how to turn the lights on and off. Entering a woman's acrobatic class at the fitness center, Sandini placed his duffel bag on the ground, turned off the lights and took out his two 9-19mm Glock semi-automatic pistols. Firing 52 shots from both of his Glock semi-automatic pistols, Sardini killed three women. Heidi Overmeyer, 46 years old, a native of Collier Township, Elizabeth Gannon, aged 49, of Green Tree, and Jody Billingsley, 38 years old, of Mount Lebanon, Pennsylvania. 
Sodini then took out his .45 caliber revolver and committed suicide by shooting himself in the head. The .32 caliber semi-automatic pistol found in his pocket was not used. Police found two suicide notes in Sodini's duffel bag, but they were never released. Sodini donated his estate worth $225,000 to his alma mater, the University of Pittsburgh, who rejected it, with the money spread amongst the families of his victims. Two days after the shooting, on the 6th of August 2009, approximately 75 people held a vigil at the Pittsburgh City County Building in downtown Pittsburgh in honor of the victims of the shooting. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, and have an amazing day.